Picking up our conversation, Elizabeth Warren, her performance tonight and what she had to say after the debate. I asked her if she'd have preferred to have been debating Bernie Sanders tonight. Here's what she said. Yeah, Bernie and I have been friends forever. And uh, long before I ever got involved in politics, uh, I went up to Vermont and did town halls with Bernie. I've given Bernie much of my work around when the housing crash was coming. And so I'm always glad to be anywhere with Bernie and to have a chance to carry on a conversation with him. But that's not how the draw worked. And so tonight, it was a chance to talk where there were a lot of other Democrats up there. And I have to say this, everybody who was up there, any one of them would make a better president than Donald Trump. Okay, the BS Peter just went to <laughs> <laughs> The fact of the matter is that there was real friction between them because he thought she should have endorsed him yeah. back in the race uh, in 2016. Uh, they are clearly rivals in this race. There is resentment that he is stealing her thunder. Mm. Uh, and uh, and you remember they met before at the very beginning of this yeah. race. Do you remember there was a Sanders yes. Warren meeting where uh, they were trying to figure out if there was a way that both of them wouldn't end up in the race? Yeah, they each had an idea of who the other yeah. who the, that person should <laughs> and, be. And, exactly. and in 2016, it really was Warren who was the person that a lot of the progressive groups really wanted to see in that race. Bill Clinton was very nervous about the prospect of Elizabeth Warren getting into that race because of her appeal, well, uh, because of the now. way she talked talks and her debating yeah. skills but and the way she connects with voters. She, she, with all of this policy, she has taken some of the sentiments that surround Sanders and she's turned it into uh, something else. And uh, I actually do think that he serves her purposes in this race because she's clearly a candidate of the left, but he is trying to run to the left of her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And with, by yeah. doing that, he is making her a little more acceptable to people who are more center -left. I think the fact that he has to follow her tomorrow is is really not good for him because she just articulated basically his platform only with more meat on the bones and now he, he has says to it go so differently. He has to he does say it very differently. He's, so different. he's a little <laughs> more than, than she is in, in his, his delivery. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me just say one thing. Uh, Bernie Sanders has reimagined reinvented the Democratic Party without ever joining it. I mean, it was a year ago uh, today, or I guess a year ago yesterday, that AOC won, right. uh, knocked off Joe Crowley. And people said, who is this young woman? And what she is now, you know, one of the most famous people in American politics. And, uh, and, that's, and she was a Bernie Sanders Democrat. So really, part of the thing that's uh, tough for Bernie is that uh, he's authored an era that he may not be able to own in that the entire party has moved in his direction. And so tomorrow you're gonna to see somebody who really, tonight, we were, we were arguing tonight, you saw them arguing tonight, saying uh, the public option is not good enough, which we were fighting for under Obama, because now it's all about Medicare for, that's, this is we all Bernie so Sanders, so tomorrow, he may not win. Tomorrow may not night, win. does Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden, do they? It's gonna be a war. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be a yeah. war yeah. to settle the score. Definitely. Tomorrow night will be a war to settle the score between the moderates and the <laughs> progressives in this party. It'll be the brawl to end it all. It's gonna be a fight. <laughs> the brawl to you've been, you've been Trust me. Fans been listening to his Muhammad <laughs> Ali right now. I know. I mean, one, one more thing about the thriller in Manila. <laughs> she got fans. Jeez. No, but I, I, I said it earlier. I'm, I'm sorry. I said it earlier that um, I think that uh, in order to kind of reignite his cred, that he he is going to try and use Joe Biden as a foil, sure. turn Indeed. Biden into a representative of kind of the establishment Democrat. And, and posit himself as a guy who's been on the right side of all the fights that Biden was on the wrong side as far as, far as the left uh, is concerned. I, I would be really shocked if, if that didn't happen. Yeah, but Warren... I, 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 I think, I think, Gary, this may... That could work to Biden's benefit, too. Absolutely. And how he handles it. This yeah. could be an opportunity for him to stand up. Biden likes Bernie more than he likes Elizabeth I gotta Warren. Get another